Hey guys, welcome back to Making Frugal Fun. I'm Shannon and I share our family's debt-free journey to pay off over half a million dollars of debt. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. One of the things we did to save money and pay off our debt faster was to downsize to a 1,000 square foot house. And with such a small space for five people, I'm always looking for new, fun, functional ways to organize and to make our home more nice and cozy. And I saw this on TikTok. So this is actually a nine cube organizer. The one I saw on TikTok was Bright Room from Target, I believe. This is Room Essentials from Target. And it was on sale for 50% off when I ordered this online. It was only $25. And this is a hack where you turn a nine cube room organizer into a storage cubby to hang backpacks and store shoes. I thought it was the cutest thing and it's exactly what we needed in this super messy, tiny, entryway not even an entryway you just open the door and you're in our living room and kitchen basically so it was perfect for making a functional space where everyone knows where their shoes and backpacks go i ended up hanging this mirror in another spot in our kind of like in our kitchen area because I do like having the huge mirror. It does make a small space look bigger. Like I've heard of that like as a design tip before, but it does help. And these are really cool. These are like really heavy hanging devices. You don't have to find a stud in the wall or anything. They're just like little nails that nail right into the hook. And I got these at Home Depot, I believe. I'll try to find a link to them, but they made hanging the mirror very easy and they were also really easy to remove from the wall. And the first thing we're doing is, of course, cleaning up all of this clutter. Clutter collects in this area more than anything. It's like library books and shoes and toys and trash and just everything gets piled up into this front area. So I'm hoping having a piece of furniture here will help <laughs> decrease the clutter, but it could just invite more. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. And so the hack for this piece of furniture is just that you're going to leave out one of the horizontal shelves. So instead of having nine cubes, you'll only have three cubes for the drawers on the very bottom. And that's where you'll put the kids' shoes. And then you'll have little cubbies to hang backpacks. And obviously this works really well if you have three kids. Or two would also work because you could put, you could have one cubby for like extra bags or whatever, but it works perfect because we have three kids. If we had four kids, this wouldn't work as well. Or actually, maybe you could get two of them and put them side by side. That would be really cool if you have a large family. But this was very, very easy to assemble. I'm just following the instructions and you'll see I do end up having some issues since you don't have that center piece there's either going to be a gap in the center or at the top and I ended up leaving the gap at the top and you'll see what I did to fix that in a second so this is where I realized that I couldn't use it comes with short dowels and long dowels and I realized I wasn't going to be able to use the long dowels because they're made to go into that center shelf so I actually ended up taking this off and I ended up just snipping the long dowels to make them a little bit shorter so I wouldn't have that gap in between but then I wasn't thinking about the fact that I was gonna have the gap now at the top because there has to be a gap somewhere because the sides are are made to include that center shelf I really hope I'm explaining this well I mean you can just kind of watch it but it was really easy to snip these dowels and yeah overall it was a really easy project and it's obviously not like a fancy custom built-in or anything like that but it definitely looks really cute and you'll see it, how it turns out at the end it I really like how it turned out So here's what I'm talking about with the sides. They're made to fit a certain height, including that other horizontal shelf. So I had to just kind of trim down 
these long dowels to be just short enough so that it would fit the sides, but it still left a little gap in the top. If anyone has any ideas for what I could put there to kind of cover up that little gap, then please let me know because it definitely, like you can notice it, but I think it would be more noticeable if it was in the center. So I like how I shortened the center and then left the little gap in the top. So both sides fit perfectly and everything's staying together really well. It's not super, super sturdy or stable uh, because as you'll see, you want to leave the back of it open so that you can screw hooks into the wall. And if you do the standard nine cube organizer, then you would put these like little cardboard pieces on the back. And I just put the cardboard pieces on the back of the very bottom row where the little drawers were gonna go and left them off the top. So I think those cardboard pieces probably add an extra degree of stability that it doesn't have, but it's super lightweight and it's just sitting up against the wall. If you have kids that are gonna climb and stuff like that, then you're probably gonna want to mount it into the wall and make sure it's super sturdy enough. Overall, for $25, I was really happy with the way this came together. It didn't take me very long, maybe like 30 minutes to put it all together. And now I'm just using those hooks that I was talking about earlier that are really good for mounting heavy items. And there were some smaller hooks in the package that I used to put the backpacks up. I was planning on using those large plastic command hooks that you can see off to the right. That's where we currently have backpacks hanging and stuff like that. But since I had these and I wanted to leave the other ones up, I just used them instead, but you could use either. And then these are the storage cubes. They come in a million different colors. I got these at Target. I really liked the lavender. I thought it was super cute and they were just $5 each. So overall, this project was really cheap because I tried to use as much that I already had at the house, like for hooks and hammers and things like that. And of course the shelf was 25 and then another five, 10, 15 for the storage cubes. For the cork board above the shelf, I got these on Amazon. It's a four pack. I think it was like $11 and I'll link everything that I'm mentioning in the video in the description below. And I thought they were gonna come with like sticky mounting tape, but they didn't. So I first tried to use some command strips that I found to hang it, and I just could not get it to stick well. So I ended up just using nails to nail it in. And we are renters, so we'll have to fill those nails in. But we've been living here for almost four years, so it's just inevitable that we're gonna make some holes in the wall to hang pictures and things like that. This is our like getting ready in the morning hair basket that I always leave by the door. And I just use this storage caddy from the Target dollar spot and it makes it really easy to get hair done in the morning because I can just grab everything. Everything's always there right by the door. So that's a good mom morning hack for you. I think this is really the perfect DIY frugal small entryway hack for if you have a small space and you're trying to get more organized and you don't have a mudroom or a closet by the door so i hope you guys really enjoyed this it was really easy let me know if you try it thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one